So back many years ago, I just tried to focus on homework. I tried to do stuff. I tried to put my attention in it. So I go from one subject to another because, okay, this doesn't work. I cannot really pay attention to the text and biology or something. I go to geography or to math or to, to Romanian, to, to other stuff. And I can just not seem to focus. Now that was a problem because I just stayed there, didn't really want to do it, felt kind of boring. And then I hear a notification from my phone, which is exactly here, I'm pretty sure. And it could be another negative message from the class group or maybe my mother being angry because I didn't get a chore done or didn't get di didn't do this, didn't do that. But actually, it was a notification from a video, or a video game, of just, oh, another another update, another this and that. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe just a couple minutes, just watch this video for a couple minutes before, like taking a break from homework. And then I click on it, and I think, like you imagine, instead of a couple minutes, they turn into half an hour, then one hour, two hours. Then before you know, I just realized, oh wait, didn't even do my homework, oh man. And especially when, when I was playing video games back then, I was just um, having that good session, whatever, I felt great, I felt good and all that. And then I said, yes, but then, ah oh, man, I still have some homework to do. <laughs> you know, that crushing moment. And guess what, I didn't get it done before, so it was hard. And many times I just let it for off. Uh, later in the day because I didn't want to bother doing it first thing when I get home and just boom get it done not needing to deal with it and so I couldn't focus but then with time I learned some techniques that I want to share with you share with you that helped me to be able to focus for hours uninterrupted literally I can I can do work tasks I can film this video easy Easily, I can uh, watch podcasts of hours on end, and it's simple. It's easy. So, how do we, how do we achieve this level of focus? Well, one, we eliminate the distractions so that we achieve focus. Number two, we increase your attention span, your ability to how much to stay focused for a certain period of time, and then three, we get and tap into theta state. Theta state, theta state, ultra instinct, ultra flow state, whatever you want to call it. So hear me out. So first of all, let's try to tap into theta state, which you probably never heard before on how in this on, on productivity flow state, right? So look, theta state will help you become calmer and more focused, basically instantly with this technique. And I tried it in, in, because I saw it in one video and I'm like, wow, this actually works. And it's super interesting. So what you do is basically close your eyes. You tap and you consciously try to tell her, think that you want to get in this state of calm state. It's basically a calm brainwave state. It's better than uh, the be beta brainwave state that you're in the day and then you go to alpha and then to theta when you go when you fall asleep and st stuff like this so it's a very calm state which will help us to focus for longer and better right so we want so i heard from that video that okay we want to make a trigger out of it right so when we for example attach let's say this finger and the thumb in the thumb whenever we do that let's make let's remember that okay this for for us at least means okay this is the trigger for the theta state and you do this and you close your eyes, let's say you meditate for like 10 seconds and you count in your brain, not physically actually talking, but let's say in your brain, count, count from 10 to 1. And then just consciously try to tap into theta state. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's a brain technique, of course it works, because I did it. And bro, it's kind of cool, I mean, do you imagine, in like 10 seconds you can get massive, massive... Uh, Focus. Now, fair enough, I had some more experience with this uh, kind of focus techniques, with these kind of focus techniques, so I don't know if it will work for you in the first try, but do it m multiple times because you want to activate this trigger. 
I mean, you make it. You can, it can be other sign. You just to make your brain know. Okay, this we do this. Okay, this means that technique, that fetus state. I mean, at least you make yourself believe that, and so your brain just acts on it because it remembers about it. Okay, let's get into the action. So that it works for me. It's awesome. So basically, it's just instant focus. But that's not enough. That still wouldn't really work if you were in an environment that was distracting and all that, right? So for example, my desk now is clean. I don't have other things. Okay, fair enough. Maybe just my notebook for notes and all that. But aside that, and the thing that the, the books that this phone is sitting on, my desk is just clean and it's just empty of things. I don't have... So basically, I had a couple books for for school and all that just there in the corner. I get got them away because I know I need a, a, I don't need any things to block my or to get distraction my from my vision. Or you get the point, right? So you just focus on this that is important. Imagine if I had multiple other things on this desk. It would be just hard to focus. It would be irritating, at least for me, right? And so. What you can do to massively increase focus is just to clean your environment, man. You just want to, not just to be clean, but also to be empty. Aside the thing, I mean, you don't want to have, for example, on your desk, anything, basically, instead of the thing you're actually focused on. So, for example, for me, is the is the phone, is making the video for you, right? So, and perhaps my notes if I need them, right? Right here. Yeah, as you see them and another very powerful technique which I actually got to do better in this video but is focusing on one point on one specific point and what this does is that it narrows your focus let's say and it puts it specifically on the details of that thing and of that task so for example let's say you it's not work let's it's not work let's say you look look at, uh, at a leaf if you pay more attention to the details what, what is around the leaf, the nature and whatever, the sky, you won't really pay attention to it. You just, because you pay so much, because you put your focus so narrow on the on the details of the leaf, now you, now you only see the leaf or you at least are we focused just on the leaf. So if we do this with work, well, obviously it will work way better, right? So for example, me, I'm looking in my phone's camera, right? I just look at, for example, the center of the camera, whatever, the, that dot. And I just focus on that specific point. Now, fair enough, I still go like this from, from uh, now and then. But generally, I have a focus point. And this helps a lot with focusing. Because especially if with, with the tasks that you don't need to talk with in. I mean, for example, homework or uh, whatever, working on, for example, me scripting this, uh, the ideas for this video. Well, focusing just on one specific point. Of the task that's very powerful in terms of focus because that gets you your your um because that gets your uh focus range from all this place to just this place right just straight narrow on the point <laughs> you know what I, I actually in summer I actually uh used to do this when I used to watch a video for like one or that was one or two hours that was educational on um actually was also on flow state and I just do did this and bro like the distractions just got away and I just, was just able to focus now fair enough I don't know if you if it's sustainable for you and all that if you want to do it but I just found it kind of helpful back then now another technique now remember to get into this fetus state in this flow state regularly usually you want to be in a calm state also because if you're kind of angry or irritated or irritated whatever you won't be as focused properly right because when we are when we are focused we probably you probably agree as well bro that we are more calm either way right if you're constantly angry, you don't have your attention just on the thing itself, but also on outside things, perhaps some, some random thoughts, perhaps some whatever. Right now, guess what? I don't have any random thoughts. I have I can choose to think of something, but now in my mind is clear, bro. Especially for the fact that um also another thing, the next thing, which is intermittent fasting, not eating in the morning. At least 
not before you work. So for example, right now I'm making this video. It's around 6 a.m. And guess what, bro? I didn't even eat in the morning before this. And in general, I don't eat in the morning because first of all, why would you don't need to eat? It's a waste of time. And number two, get massive focus, bro. That's the most important for me, bro. Get massive focus because those carbohydrates that you eat, yeah, sure, you can eat them. But the thing is that they make you kind of sleepy, right? They, they make you sleepy. They give you brain fog. You cannot think as clearly. And guess what? We barely notice it, at least until we actually make the test and see for ourselves that, oh, this, thing's actually, this thing actually works, right? I, I can actually focus way better if I don't eat before working. So if I make if I ate before making this video, bro, my brain would just go <laughs> random thoughts. I wouldn't even be fully present with you, and I, for example, don't don't know if even would be able to script a, as good of a plan or key tips on my notes and stuff. Think about it. I mean, try you try for yourself and see. And look. Don't necessarily tell your parents about this because they probably won't believe you and they say, oh, this guy on self-improvement came, came, came over with another thing like it, another weird thing. Look, bro, you, you might be excited and tell your parents. You, you can, no problem. It's just they probably won't even believe you because you're feeling like, oh, what do you mean we're sleeping on that if we eat? I feel perfectly fine. But... But the thing is you don't even realize exactly until you actually do the test yourself so for example one morning for you to see one morning let's say you wake up you go straight to eat and then you do some work task for example like homework or scripting videos or whatever you do filming whatever anyway filming and then the next morning try to do that this, the same things but without eating before that just don't eat anything, just straight up work. You'll see, bro, the massive difference. The massive difference, bro. So, for example, you try to read especially. Oh, man, that that's a big one. Um, in, in general, many things. It's just, bro, you, your brain levels up. And it's not constrained by certain things. Like this brain fog that carbohydrates give you after you eat them. So, just do intermittent fasting, all right? And be patient. I mean, for I mean, you, to get in flow state, which is a, such a good state for focus, it's flow, it's it's smooth. Well, bro, you need to be patient for like as you work for like 15, 20 minutes, and you will probably get in it. And it's such a great state because it kind of blocks the outside world, whatever other thing happens, and you just don't pay much attention to it, and you just focus on the task, which we as people should be able to do it's like natural i mean it should be common but most people are not able to do that well i mean or at least at will sometimes yeah here and there you achieve some more focus but you don't specifically you didn't specifically know the, the techniques well i can sh i showed you right now in this video these because bro they help so me so much imagine you increase your focus and your effectiveness by let's say at least two times at least three five, four or five times with this techniques it's massive bro plus if you meditate this ma this helps a lot as well think about it what is meditation actually meditation is a training for your mental for your for your brain to become more uh, first and first of all to bring your attention from the, the random thoughts you have to the present moment which means away from distractions which means focus and to make it to to make you calmer and fair enough there's way more benefits but bro meditation helped me a lot bro and uh i've been doing it i think for years now i think i think almost two years or more than two years right now i basically just do it every day and you want to start i mean try to start with however much you can i mean hopefully let's try at least 10 minutes and then you go up to 20, 20, I think it's enough. I mean, it gets you great benefits. If you cannot do 10 at the beginning, try to do one minute, then try to do five, try to do seven. 
put some focus music on without lyrics very important or download that medito try to do stuff right and uh, basically you just sit there for a meditation session you close your eyes you focus on your breath on the present moment just be right and then you'll start having some random thoughts good or bad doesn't matter you just need but they're good to have because from that po point on you need to get to realize okay i'm no longer focused on the breath i'm actually focused on these random thoughts that just popped off my mind and now you get the attention from those thoughts back to the breath on the present moment and that's how you meditate you basically repeat the cycle hopefully it won't be boring to you if you have a bit of a shorter attention span right now but don't don't worry bro just try a couple of minutes every day and it will increase it will be way better i tell you bro i had a not really such of a good attention span and then i increased massively with meditation and then at what point uh, at one point i didn't really manage to get my meditation in daily and my focus and the attention span went a bit down and then i put it again finally in a better way i changed it in my schedule now i have time for it and it's way better my focus and my attention span improved okay what else can i tell you about oh yeah also want to mention on the flow state to get in a flow state there are certain activities you probably will be able to get a flow state in not all of them probably especially for the fact that you to get a flow state you need a, a degree or level of uh, of difficulty that is not too small so that you get bored but not too big so that you get overwhelmed if you if the difficulty is too small you don't want to be there if the difficulty is too high you don't want to be there you want to be more like this let's say in the middle and that will get you a bit off your edge but still good enough still will be good enough so that you will be able to do it and so then that coupled with that with uh, eliminating distractions and just focusing bro that will massively increase your effectiveness your efficiency of, of focus and of um, getting things done better because imagine of course your speed also will increase of course you'll get things better done <coughs> of course you'll get done things better so that's awesome that those are some other benefits which, which are great so if you're interested in some more productivity tips and some and becoming disciplined and consistent with your work and all that you can get the link the first link in the description on my coaching program for the first few guys is free if you're interested in that if no either way let's continue with the video there's also another thing that uh, it's a bit different but it's still focus so for example it's more of your uh, of your using your body not just mentally like focus focus on tasks like this but let's say you play some sports i did it with football and i think volleyball yes that's for sure but it's a technique called motion and from that the people adapted it and put it into an anime called dragon ball it's the technique is called their ultra instinct and it's true it works if you're interested in that it's kind of it's kind of off the topic so this technique is basically you don't need to think anymore your body just does the work for you because you're such in a you're in such a great flow state you're in such a great level of focus that you don't even need to think anymore your body just reacts you just do you don't have time to think you might think oh it just takes a bit no bro for example in in, in passing in football or fighting with an opponent dribbling what, whatever or in some other sports do you think you have seconds to think okay should i do this should i do that no bro you have milliseconds milliseconds and you and every one of them matters or else you get smacked in kickboxing perhaps or you get your ball, ball football taken out of you and uh, taken off you and your the other team advances in in the in the field whatever so for example right um one day i play with my cousins and my grandparents it's night right and we play in the in the in the yard or whatever in the right near the house and we have a gate there basically our our, uh, our net which <laughs> but anyway we just dribble right and i go with my cousin he has the ball the football 
But then I just I, I tried to for a couple minutes to tap into this ultra instinct state. And then guess what? I go with him, and I don't even have and I don't, and I don't even need to think. I just okay. I just let my body do the actions. And guess what? He <coughs> he wants to dribble, and uh, and basically avoid me to to keep the ball, the football. And so I'm right near him, and without even thinking about it, I don't know how. I mean, I actually know how. My foot, without me even d deliberately thinking about doing this, my foot automatically. When he passed the ball, my foot automatically took it in, a, in a, less than a second. In those moments, you don't have time to think, okay, what should I do? I didn't even realize it until after what just happened. My f Dude, an ultra instinct, it's real. It's, it's a real technique, bro. It's called mushin, no mind. Exactly. That's the thing. You let your body move. And fair enough, those are in physical, more physical situations like sports, whatever. But man, back then just my body just moved way better. I increased my effectiveness and my and my skill, right? And and as a matter of fact, when you're in this state in sports, for example, your performance increases a lot. Because you're because in this flow, you don't have as many mistakes, let's say. You get closer to perfection, which actually can be true. And one time when playing volley at uh, school, my team scored the winning shot, or I think we won the game, or we hit another point. Then I run and go like, yes, in the air. And then with the corner of my eye, somehow, I see a, a volleyball coming fast, bro, fast at me, at my, directly at my head. Like, like the, it should be, be like, like this, right? Somehow, because my perhaps my instincts were on point because my brain somehow noticed it i felt bro i don't know if you're gonna believe this this is a real story i felt how time slowed down and for some time and note and remind i want to remind you the ball was hitting fast it, it should be like let's say this is my head right the ball should be like this but in but for some time I felt time slowing down and somehow I saw the corner of my eye the the, the volleyball itself and somehow bro I just without even thinking about it bro my body went like like this right and my and my head went down and the ball was and mind you I wasn't on the ground I was jumping in the air at that time I was not touching the ground also which was insane it it looked and felt such so amazing and people were like looking how in the world did he do that now that was cool i mean i love bro i love these techniques i love all tracing now this fair enough is uh, a bit off topic of the video but if you're interested in it it's kind of cool and in this technique if you want to use it it's awesome you just need to but to get in it you need to first of all not talk Second of all, stay calm, calm your emotions down. Yes, it's possible. You can choose what emotions to feel. It just might take a couple of seconds or minutes or a couple of seconds. And uh, you feel, you don't try to think as much. You just let your body kind of move on its own. Now, fair enough, don't just stand there. Still put coal into the fire to light the, to basically the energy and to do stuff, but let your body move from there on. Still trying to be careful of this with dodging. I mean, dodging it is perfect for this, this technique. But try to be careful at, at first times that you do it. You don't want to be hit because you don't know how it works. You gotta be careful. But it's a very interesting technique, man. I love it, and it's so good. Literally after this, bro. After deliberately getting into this technique and saying it in, in it for like minutes, after you get off of the flow state and you just realize okay yeah, you're no longer in it well you you still are affected by that in in terms of a good it's somewhat good thing you're so calm and so you're not even happy or something you're just your mind is 
still. And you kind of stay in that state for like a couple minutes. You still are fine. You still can think, uh, uh, run, do whatever you want. It's just your mind is so still. It's wow. It's amazing. So that's a very interesting uh, part, let's say, of the of uh, these techniques. If you liked it, please like and share the video. You can also get in our Discord server. The link is in the description. With some more guys on self development, keep up. Uh, we can keep ourselves accountable. Also, if you want to, you can get on my program. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. Remember, we're limitless because we never peak if we so choose to. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure, and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course, I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. But they all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more, and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You're gonna see my name up on the flag. I sell the shit, and I'll never come back.